What's good YouTube NBA here and today I am back with another video and this video is obviously you know a 2k20 related video and it is January 1st happy New Year's Day but New Year's Day also means that 2k20 servers are officially gone they are shut down for good and they will never ever come back most likely you know our pizza NBA 2k20 I think it was a saw 2k but you know the whole you know idea of this video is to rate 2k20 on a scale of 1 to 10 and i know 2k20 was a very controversial you know 2k very you know you know a lot of people you know have you know a lot of opinions some people hated this game some people love this game some people think it's the greatest 2k of all time some people think it's the worst some people thought it was mid you know and i just want to you know just you know give my you know my little opinion on it you know if my opinion offends you just my bad so what I'm trying to do in this video is to look at the pros and cons of NBA 2K20, you know, you know, what, what did 2K20 do, you know, good, and what NBA 2K20 did that was pretty bad, that could affect the game, that, you know, may have pissed, you know, a few people off, so let's just look at the pro. Pro number one, you know, the new build system, the new pie charts, um, 2K20 ditched the dual archetype system it just gave us new pie charts and i like the new pie charts i think the new pie charts were fair you know i like the pie charts a lot i think it was amazing you know pro number two was the build diversity you didn't see everybody on play shots and paint beasts you didn't see everybody on six seven demigods that can do it all you had tons of builds you know two way slash and playmakers slash and playmakers play shots offensive threats glass cleaners glass cleaning lockdowns you know pure playmakers so many different builds i love the build diversity that year you know shooting was great green window was amazing not a lot of whites went in you know the last few 2ks whites are crazy but 2k20 it wasn't like that you know no sliding there was no sliding you know we actually took that for granted in nba 2k20 in the last few 2ks again sliding is a big issue the good shot contest system mainly on the perimeter you know the good events that year you know kept, kept us intrigued i love the events they had you know, you can get consistent games. You don't have to constantly hop off. You know, choosing your own takeover. That was a new feature as well. You don't, you weren't just limited to, you know, your um, primary archetype takeover. You can choose multiple takeovers, which I liked. You know, my team was really good that year. I'm not gonna go into big detail on my team. I love my team. I played it a lot too in my free time, but you know, I'm gonna just mainly focus on park. So my bad, you know, the soundtrack was good, but I don't think anybody cares, but I guess I do a little bit, you know, I like listening to the music, you know, while playing 2K anyway. So now to look at the cons of NBA 2K20. And I might be missing a few pros and a few cons, but I'm just trying to focus on the main um, pros and the main cons of NBA 2K20. If we covered everything, it would just take too long. And this video would be 10 minutes long. And you guys don't want a 10 minute video of me talking about this. So let's just shorten it to four. So for the cons that I thought, you know, were a problem, you know, the mediocre to bad interior defense. Interior defense was bad in 22, and it's bad in 21. I think it's the worst it's ever been in 22. But 2K20 interior defense was better than 21 and 22, but it still had major problems, major issues. So the mediocre interior defense. I did not like the dribbling that year, you know. If you wanted to be good at dribbling, if you wanted to do something cool, you would have to break a finger and just damage your fingers and i didn't want to do that so the dribbling was not very good latency was a problem ghost contest was not you know was not fun ghost contest didn't make sense standing in front of somebody should not be in contest but it was hop steps were crazy play take was eyed train system was bad same park and you know bad stamina but that's the end of the video guys thank you guys for watching you know, that was my pros and cons of NBA 2K20. You know, I thought the game, I think, I think personally the game is a six and a half out of 10. All right, not a seven, not a five, not a four, but again, that's just my opinion, so don't get mad. But I think the game was solid. It was a functional, just a solid 2K that I can play and not get mad instantly and play two games and instantly hop off. It's a game that you can play for a few hours with your friends i was by yourself and you know have you know a good time so i think the game was solid six and a half out of ten you know and that is the end of the video guys and i'm out